Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Travis Sherry. Behind the beats, once again, life of a music producer. Just letting y'all know about some of the things that I've been through and uh, some of the records I've created. Just uh, letting you know about my life. Um, the record I'm going to talk about today is by a group out of St. Louis called Saucy. Um, the record I did for them is called Hypnotic. Uh, it's actually... You watch Style Network. Uh, <clears throat> it's on the TV show Split Ends on uh, season five, episode one. Uh, it's a sick, 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 sick record. I love creating it. Um, that record, actually, the beat itself just came together for me, just playing some chords. Uh, if you, uh, if your producers out, you you know, if you produce out there, you know about like some of the native instrument stuff. I actually was messing around with uh, the Pro 53 uh, preset called Shining Fifth. Uh, it sounds like this. So, you know, that's called Shining Fifth. It's a uh, preset 267 on there. Um, I really, I was in a pop mood when I created it. And uh, I wanted something to kind of make me stand out, make my sound stand out. But... I also wanted to give people more of a New York underground club feel, you know, but I didn't want to sound like a black producer doing pop music. So if you know anything about all my records, you know, when I go to my pop stuff, I try not to sound like a black producer doing pop music. I try to integrate production techniques from outside the box. So... I was messing around with that and I started going, I started messing around with these chords on uh, Shining Fifth, which came out like this. So, you know, I was like, well, you know, I, I kind of like where it was going. So, I started playing around with uh, some drum loops. So I was like... Which ended up adding... When I added it to the synth, to the synth itself, I was... But I, you know, I, I wanted to incorporate more into it, so... I said I had to get crazier. So I was like, well, let me give it more of a Michael Jackson off the wall feel when it drops. You know, I wanted to feel like some 80s music. So I said, all right, let it drop like this. So I gave it that and uh you know, I just, I just really was, you know, into the, into the, the, the song. I was into the record. I was loving it. I was feeling it. <clears throat> and uh, my guy, man, 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 my guy was telling me that he had a group, and uh, actually someone else had introduced us to, introduced us to each other, um, while I was over at Dallas Austin Studio. I went over to Dallas just because I was um, trying to get signed over there, and I stayed over there working for about three months. And uh, a wonderful, wonderful lady hooked us up. Um, hooked me and my man Glasgow up, and Glasgow had originally asked me just to um, mix some records. You know, if you know about me, you know I also engineer, and so I was like, okay, yeah, send me um, some of their records, and I'll mix some of the girls' records down for them. And I had heard some of their records, and I was like, oh man, these girls are really phenomenal. They're going to blow. So um, I had said, well, I can give you some beats, and I gave him that beat, and it. Uh, he was like, oh, the girls wrote to it. I think we might have a smash. So, <clears throat> when uh, he ended up sending it back to me, uh, Saucy, the wonderful, wonderful girls of Saucy, had uh, sent me this bomb of a record right here. It's just stupid. I'm 
So, you know, they sent me that hot record, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful record. I'm sorry, it's a smash, smash record for a new artist. Um, Saucy is Saucy's definitely going to be big. Um, look out for them on uh, YouTube at uh, Saucy STL. And uh, shout out to my man Glasgow. You know, we made magic with that record, and we're definitely going to get in and make some more magic. But uh, if you if you watch Style Network, you'll definitely hear that record on uh, Split Ends. Crazy record. I love it. I love it. So that's me once again, Travis Sherry, Life of a Producer. It's just a little bit of what I did uh, behind, you know, just my Behind the Beat series. You know about it. You know I'm going to tell you the real. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's just me. Uh, life unscripted. No hype man, no crew, as you see, it's me in the studio. So, anyway, look out for some more. I'm definitely going to post some more stuff on YouTube. Thanks for supporting me. Gone.